here. Why did you leave and not defend your country? Why did I leave and not defend my country? We people are dying under the bombing of the major countries. Now, how are we dying? It's simple, because Syria is a territory of war, not only for Syrians against their dictator president, but it's actually a shortcut for a long supremacy conflict between the major countries. These major countries are Russia and the United States. Basically, we have the major countries who are fighting against each other and they just don't care about how many lives are gonna just die, how they will um, keep their influence right on that territory and how they are gonna spread it more and more and more. So basically, um, you, got, you got to talk about a lot of my friends who died there in that conflicts, in that battles, and they died, they died without any single purpose. Why? Because they thought that this is a small war, talks about only a uh, simple war between the people and against their president, but eventually it turned out, after six years, it turned out to be a war that is between the United States, Russia, China, Iran, and, and even Israel, and you gotta talk about the Golfin states, you gotta talk about mostly all the countries that do have weaponries that they wanna do fight. So that's our problem. Everybody's fighting there. I wouldn't die there and waste my life just because um, other people wanna take out my country. I would prefer that if I go out and talk about what's going on in my country, just explain to other people what's going on, share awareness. Just I want to share awareness because it's much better than to die there and get buried and nobody would know anything about me. But a lot of people say that we're cowards, we have run away and blah blah blah, but make no mistake about it. If they do see what's going on in our land, how major and great and big the conflicts there, they would absolutely change their opinions and point of view because they don't get to see the bigger and greater picture. They don't get to see what's going on. When I sit with somebody who does not even know anything about what's going on there and clarify what's going on, they would be like shocked. They thought that we have something like called ISIS. We have ISIS and we are fighting normally against ISIS. They don't have any idea how many countries are participating, how many greedy countries they want to just spread their greed in our land they have no idea so that's why i'm saying if i spread knowledge it's going to be much better than to die and and spend my life without any single purpose this is what i'm talking about so that's basically why i was out of my country now you got to talk about a lot of other people refugees like me who have families kids daughters families whatever they got away because they don't want to die because they know that this war is not a simple war it's a very very great war that the media is not showing so that's our problem there we get out because it's larger than us it's greater than us it's bigger than us simply and we appreciate life as anybody else. If we see any point, any point that we get to win this war, we get to victorious, we would absolutely use it. But our problem is we now know that Syria is a territory of war zone. If you want to learn how to be a terrorist, how to be a fighter, how to be whatever you want, even a drug dealer, you would go out to Syria and, and start this black business. When we were in our land, we tried to liberate it, but it didn't work out. So when we are out of our land, we will keep trying. But our problem will be to forget about our land because we don't want to do so. We don't want to forget. We will keep holding the flag of our land our case, our humanitarian issue, our voice of people that needs to be reached to the entire world. We need to hold that flag and keep holding it. That's how to be a coward once you don't hold that flag more. So no, I am not afraid of staying in my land and protected and defended, but in a rightful way.